Mr. Andrew, come here, come here, come, come, come here. Yeah, yeah, administration, come, come right over here. So, let me fix it here, good. So, don't worry, it's in front of me. Yeah, man, right? So, you want your administration, as I want to talk to you a little bit, you know. Me not here for disrespect, I'm just make that clear. And I, I will never do such thing. Me not like disrespect people on a whole. No matter your position in your class. When, you know, I make, you know, decision them. You know, think about the lower class of people them where actually can't afford certain things. Hey, peeps, it's the girl, Bessie Gazetiva, and welcome back to the Blessed Gazetiva channel. So before I even get into this video, let me give you this disclaimer. Anybody who wants to talk about, I talk about politicians a lot. If my channel is centered around politician, is yes. It is centered around burning out politicians. It is centered around bringing them down like how them try to bring down poor people all the time. And what we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about two main things. We're going to talk about what these politicians really see us as in Jamaica and what one particular politician is offering to people who get the job. And the other thing we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about Chief Curry, the maroon, because you know from we started to have to finish it, heading to halfway tree for protest and what he had to say in that pre-video anyway people when we get back we're going to look into it talk about it break it down let's kick it see up to the time you know it's cartel representing for blessed d gaza diva what your position in your class when you know i make you know decision them you know think about the lower class of people them where actually can't afford certain things because we can't really understand why in the many we know we even if you say in the middle of the pandemic because we don't know when this thing has got done we don't raise up a toll power we flow has gone up something where they in a basically everything where everybody cook or eat hmm? so the toll raise just after the bread gone you know say one one loaf of bread after 450 dollars you, you didn't know that hmm? See, I can't even use a nanny right now, buy a loaf of bread and something else back at it. You just have to buy the loaf of bread alone. I just go back to way back in the days, I have to go buy a quarter bread and half a bread in a paper bag. Eh? No forward, no so no one go. So how no one go back with a life, brother? I don't understand that something. I don't understand. You know, say, you have people in Jamaica where I uh, get like $8,000 a week for them pay. And I'm going to talk about my figure work Monday to Saturday. You know what I want to do to you and your administration? You and your team where you make the money for decision. You know what I, what I want to do to Uno? I want to put Uno down there, that same place on the call, they get to slash garrison with that same $8,000 for one week. And see how Uno survive. Um, you know when I started to? I started to have a Friday night. I want to give you two hungry belly pitney. Not me not even get three or four of them, I get two hungry people, one three year old one and one ten year old one. And I you alone as a single father. And for the woman them in the administration, them, them alone as a single mother. And I have to find the little piece of fry fry, whatever them for the pit on the Friday night. And the Saturday the boil bo a nice pot of soup and something. And the Sunday you have to find the 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 the, 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 the rice and peas and the whatever. You understand and Monday morning I forgot to work out of that see me toes. You know what I want to catch you to? I want to give you a, 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 a gas pan, a gas where I got done pan this one, you have to find money for buy back. And I want to put you in one partner too. Just to try to survive and see, oh, you, 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 you live pan that $8,000. But go back and work for the other week. Mm, I don't know, I think about raising people up here. Mm? In not this year 2021, we're not going to raise pay. We're not going to raise bus pay now, eh? Now, what if you find $150 from now, if you left from Spanish town now, if you come out? Never. If you come at half a tree, and the coastal man then done a kill away already. I take 150 for if you come at half a tree already. Hmm? How are we going to manage? And then curfew starts 6 o'clock and me left work 7 o'clock. So people, I found this post very interesting. It is sad and pathetic, but I like to bring to people what our politicians think about us. Anyway, Floyd Green, he represents the ruling party. So he on his Twitter and wrote, I'm pleased to announce that starting today at Lashings Jamaica is offering a free pizza for residents of Treasure Beach who are fully jabbed. For further information, contact Lashings. Hashtag get jabbed. Hashtag jab Jamaica. <laughs> Anyway, people, what I loved about this post more than anything else, there was one particular 
artist quoted. And of course, it had to be none other than the General Vibes Cartel himself. And the person wrote, we're not frightened so easy. And everybody know that Five Scar Tale song. Let me tell you something. Music is powerful. Music is something that you use to straighten your brain. Music is something that you can always relate to. Them say my artist not teach people what he does. You see something as 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 telling us this who them draw for? Vibe scar tell. Politicians really take get up people for fool, you know. Them really take poor people for fooling out. No separate and apart from it. Me can relate to liking pizza like some people. But them bumbo clad boy are not easy, you know. What kind of fuck this? The politician boy are really right, right? So somebody tell me now down below in the comment section because me want to know we hungrier than everybody else. Y'all tell me say I want pizza for you get a job. Y'all try to tell me say them I do all of them foolishness here. What's so special about the job that you're giving away pizzas and all of these things? You ever going to the communities yet outside of politics time? And when you're offering chicken back and flour and tin mackerel and all of them things there and offer the people them a meal, a hot meal, but now to get a job you're offering them pizza. Anyway, underneath that post, Vibes Cartel wrote, all bellias report to lashings. People open up on the eyes, remove the scales, and be smart about it. And know what I deal with because on I deal with oppression in various forms. These people are basically telling you that they're uneducated, you know, and they can't afford certain things, you know. Because if they thought of the persons in Treasure Beach, and maybe me, I think too much of it, but if people think that you are able to take care of yourself and you're well off, then they could not be offering you food as a bait to take something as serious as a job. You heard what I said? They can't be offering you food as a bait to take something as serious as a job. So they're basically saying that the Treasure Beach people are hungry. And I would consider this if I were a resident of Treasure Beach, an insult. Like, you're inviting me to give me pizza? to take a job come on man the politicians need to do better than this and tell me what you think about that post now on to our next topic richard corey so richard corey will be doing a march in halfway tree and he has joined with Enzinga, the rastafarian flag shaking hands with the maroons and he says that it's going to be a peaceful march he then took to his instagram and he posted this video greetings beloved relatives it has been a hard road for the people of the archipelago called Jamaica since 1494, when the criminal Christopher Columbus set his foot up on our shores. From the day the colonizers arrived, we have been fighting for our rights to be recognized by them. Nonetheless, the colonizers managed to use skillful manipulation to make the people of Jamaica hate each other and seek to keep away and seek to keep each other from free exercise of creator given rights. Intense hatred and pain is felt by many Jamaican relatives concerning the Maroons. For things the colonizers taught the people, we did. As where many of our Jamaican relatives have shown support in this uncertain time, many have lashed out on us and some, much to our great sadness, has called for our blood. We understand what pain feels like. 135 years of war against both sets of colonizers caused our ancestors great pain. Pain we feel in this time. All of us were hurt in a time of invasion and occupation. All of us were affected, and the tactics of the colonizers were designed to attack the mind, the heart, and separate brother from brother and sister from sister to keep us weak. We cannot keep living this way. We cannot hold on to hatred. It's time to let go of deep psychological pain. We cannot let this disruption in our rich history hold us back forever. The ancestors have called for peace. The people have called for peace. The people have called for peace. My heart yearns for peace. People of Jamaica, 
I'm tired of us being divided as we cannot get the justice and freedom that we are rightfully owed while confined in our hatred. People of Jamaica, I love you. The Maroons love you. We are relatives and we are with you. We will not allow mistakes of the past to blight our potential for growth. People of Jamaica, let us put the past behind us. People of Jamaica, our ancestors made peace with the British. Now I ask that we make peace in sight of the Creator forever. People of Jamaica, the Maroon relatives love you. And he titled it, People of Jamaica, for a long time, we have felt it necessary that reconciliation between us as relatives was vital, but the signs of the appropriate time have been increasing in their frequency. This rising our Earth mother, Atabe, as our Arawakan ancestors, and we know her, spoke with an earthquake. This message was twofold. Oppressors, leave my people alone and my children. Please make peace and unify as one. I weep and grieve for you all, people of Jamaica. I offer you peace and love as our mother and our hearts have demanded. We, your maroon relatives, love you. Beneath that post was Bujibanton and Spraga Bent. Bujibanton up, flames emoji, Spraga Bent. Hashtag us as one. Richard also further took to Instagram and he made several posts. The one I found interesting, the same person that I'm always talking about that hasn't come out and talked as yet. I'm going to put the video there and you're going to see the man talking. Culture is a real thing. Culture is what determines how we act and behave, even without thinking about it. So I'll give you a little example. Within this town, you may have about two to 3,000 people. But I looked at the murder statistics, and I don't see one murder in this town are in this area. People, this is all I have to say. Horace Chang, as the Deputy Prime Minister, we're not talking about Horace Chang now as the Minister of Security. Horace Chang is a Deputy Prime Minister of Jamaica, for those of you who don't know. And if the Deputy Prime Minister of Jamaica can come forward with those atrocities and get away with it, and the Prime Minister, the ruling Prime Minister, doesn't say or do something about it, then Jamaica is doomed and lost. We already see that they're paying our, us off in food. It's nothing new. It was flour and chicken back, but they're taking it upscale now, I guess, UPT-style pizza, and then they come and they dumb us down, whichever, whether it's the cockpit country or whether it is Jamaica itself, they are not dealing with us properly. And... In that video that I just posted, he knows the Maroon Town and he knows the sanctity and the sacredness of the Maroon Cockpit Country. So he should have himself, or if not himself, come out, the Deputy Prime Minister Horace, Dr. Horace Jang, come out and make a public apology to the people of a Kong Pong. Anyway, people, tell me your thoughts or down below in the comment section. As per usual, we'll have a discussion. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell. And if you've not yet smashed the like button on this video, smash the like button and send this out. I'm out.